Hey, this is Steve from BC Barker Creations, and uh, I just wanted to do a video on my record keeping, how I keep track of, of all the snakes, so I'm going to show you how I do that, and uh, I have a couple of, like, three different things that I do, so I'll run through all those with you. This is our book, and uh, basically, I mean, it's pretty uh, simple, date feeding, food type and size, quantity, and then I have a shed, snake weight, breeding, and lockups. Um, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I do this, and you can tell my kids help me fill this out, but, but every anything that, you know, that happens, I, I record it in here. And uh, each rack has their, their own set here. I got a divider for each rack. And my other method for my breeding females, you can come up here, is I use this, this whiteboard for not just my breeding females, but these are all magnets I made for each of the snakes. And um, this kind of tells me where they are in the racks and stuff. But anyways, up here I've got my rack temperatures and it's this kind of because it varies throughout the year on where what temperatures I keep them so I try to get a pattern down so I, I keep track of all my rack temperatures so that the next year maybe I can kind of set it to that and then check the temperatures and see but I'll have a rough idea on where everything where the temperatures should be and then over here this is just all my jotting down on my breeding females which obviously only one is about to go and I had uh Let's see, I, this is my uh, hat, hat albino, my big hat albino female, and, um, you know, she, this, you know, you can see different things, building her ov ovulating, possible pre shed, and it wasn't, um, but she did ovulate, I saw that, on uh, 429, and she had her pre shed on 517, and then I did the same, same for all the females through here, and, uh, but yeah, I, I kind of jot down different stuff on here too, just, just so that it's right there in front of me, and, um, now I'll show you, I'll show you my, uh, my da database system. Alright, my uh, database system is a Viper Reptile Tracking System. And I'll just show you that, run through that with you. I used to enter all this stuff uh, every day that it happened. And I, I came up with that paperwork so that I could just just uh, enter it. Whenever I filled a paper, then I could enter it. So i try to zoom into this so that they can see that good. So this is a uh, Viper Reptile Tracking System. And... Uh, you can go right through. This is uh, I got 19 and 19 um, snakes on here. So you got your this is your main page, and this is my hat albino. So here's you got a photo page here. This is your feeding records, which this tells you every date. Like I said, I fill fill those papers first, so it's not up to date yet until I bring that next paper that gets filled. And so the last date I have on here is is the last time the paper was filled. So um, you can go out there and you have your shed shed dates down here. Um, and your, your breeding records, you have sire introduction, I really don't fill any of that in, you know, I started to, but, I mean, I just, I just, you know, put them in every couple of days, um, this is all your, your post-ovulation data, your clutch data, and this is, uh, two years ago, this is her clutch from two years ago, she laid three eggs, or four eggs, one was a slug, um, on, uh, 720, 2010, she laid those, and this is last year's clutch, up here. This is last year's clutch. She laid seven good eggs, and uh, on seven on July fourth, two thousand eleven. You guys saw the video of that. And then down here, this is what what I ended up up with: one point two albinos and one point two sixty six percent hat albinos. And then one of the eggs went bad, um, so I put down one death possible hat. Um, litter data. It's I don't I don't do anything with that. You got your weight. This this will track your weight of the snakes. You can see right here you got a, a bar graph that tracks their weight right down to, let's see what the first one, see I got this after I already had her so when I first got this she weighed 1,136 grams which is all over here too and the date that I entered it and then now the last last one I had was, and I know she's ha ha way heavier than this now, this was back in October, um, 2,112 grams. And I know she's she's sitting over, over probably 3,000 grams now. It also tells you over here. And you got your medical. If you had any issues, I haven't. So there's nothing in here. Um, To-do list. I really don't use that either. Um, go back to the main. And you can go through and check on each each of your snakes. You can, there's a picture over here. Tells you, is this reptile for sale? None of them are. Um, these are all, you know, you just you can go through and, and pick which one you want to enter your stuff into. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, I got your yearly expenditures. You can keep track of, of what you spend on, 
and your uh, your snakes or reptiles, whatever you've got. So here's 2010. Um, what else? I remember how to do this because it's been. Uh, let's see. There's the report. Uh, you remember how to do this? I haven't been on here in a while. Let's see. Go back here. It may be the only one I filled in, but um, you have vendor list. I'm not gonna. He's Rodent Pro. You guys probably know all, all about them. Um, but you can set up a whole list of different vendors and stuff on there. Reptile Basics, New England Reptile Distrib Distributor, BHB, Jacob Bilker Reptiles. These are all places I got snakes from before, or rodents, one or the other. Uh, Reptile Basics is uh, supplies. Uh, what else is on here? Let me go back to Control Panel. Let's see. You can uh, keep track of your food inventory, which this is all old. I haven't I haven't done this in a while actually I just I know what I have um, but you can I mean it really works good I used to keep track of it um, so I, every time let me go back there every time you uh, for the food inventory uh, you know I've got medium rat here small rat rat weaned rat pup rat pinky every time you enter in and I'll show you let's see back to me I'll go back on feeding every time you enter in she ate a rat pup or this oh this is a male this male ate a rat pup uh, 221 2012 obviously is eaten since then but every time you enter that in in the quantity it automatically takes it off off the food inventory for you so you'll know how many you have in the freezer if you keep up with it i haven't kept up with it um this keeps track of where all the snakes are which rack and which bin they're in is what this is this is all all the different racks and bins you see a lot of them are unassigned and then certain ones are are, are assigned the red ones are assigned and then, and then a lot of these are the hatchling rack um Let's see, back to control, customer invoices, you can make up your own, Oop, get off there, I don't want somebody to see, make up your own invoices and print them and, uh, for them, uh, what else you got, let's see, this is all your, uh, let me see, cost by year, so you type in, let me see, 2011, I don't think I entered anything in for, no, nothing for two, one of these, oh, it gives you the, Prices, oh, this is what I, I bought I bought snakes for in 2011. I bought those. Um, you can also print that. Um, hatch date report. So you can... you can um, Upcoming hatch dates, you can check that or whatever. Uh, view reptile inventory. It's pretty cool. I got this on the wall in there. In stock inventory. So here's your in stock. So this gives you every snake that, that I have is right here. Um, the date that I acquired them, or the date that they were born, one or the other. Um, where they came from. I think it's Jake Bilker Reptiles, that's where I bought the, that one from. Uh, BHB, Nerd. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And unfortunately, this, uh, the software is not available anymore. Um, I don't know, it's supposed to be coming back out again. I'm not sure when or, or what's going on, but... It's supposed to come back out again. I really like the software. And like I said, I fill out the sheets. And once that sheet's full, I bring it in here. And I, you know, I enter it all in. And I can just give you a quick, uh, you know, most of the time it's feeding that I'm entering in. So if if you're entering feeding in, try to zoom in on right right close to make sure it's focused, though. But so I'm right here. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. I'm right here. So if, if today they ate or, you know, say May 9th. It would be a Wednesday or whatever. I'm just doing this hypothetically. Now, here's a list of mouse crawler, small mouse, mouse hopper, pinky, rat, large, pinky, um, pups, small, weed, whatever size you decide to choose. Or, you know, I'll just do hopper. And then you pick your quantity, your food weight, your food status, frozen thought or live, and then who fed them. Um, notes over here. Um, but that, I mean, it's that simple. And everything is that simple on here. And uh, same with your shedding. You just enter in your, shed, your shedding and stuff. Um, what else? I think that's it. Well, I just wanted to show you how I keep my records. Uh, I'll show you. This also has uh, where is it? Rack and bin booklet. And uh, I'll show you those back in there. But you can. Uh, it's asking me, do you want to print the rack booklet? I don't want to right now, but um, I'll show you. I'll go. We'll go back in the snake room and I'll show you the rack and bin booklet, just so you can see what that looks like. And I'll show you the printout, the reptile report printout that you can, if you sell any, you can give give a report to whoever purchases a snake, then you can provide them with everything they need about that snake. Alright. Alright, well, every snake that's in here have got a, a rack and bin booklet. I mean, every, every one of them's got it. So what that is, is uh, 
these print out on there. And they even have a bar, there's a barcode scan system with that software as well. And uh, this is all it is, is it gives you what they are and, uh, you know, male, female, whatever it is. Um, the ID number, which each, they, it starts at 100, each snake is, is, has an ID number. And uh, I don't use these because I don't want to keep printing them out. So I just, it's easier just to print out, just to print out uh, this and fill this thing in because, you know, for feedings and everything. So, but, but these cards have spaces for all that stuff too. I just, I just don't want to keep printing them out. So you got your feeding data here, medical and breeding over here. Um, but they're nice. I, li I like them. I just, I don't, I used to fill these out, but, but um, I changed that. And I just, I just use them to identify where they are. And then, but I use this now to, to, to fill, you know, I fill that in. This is the reptile report that you can print out on, on each snake. If you were to sold, sell one of your snakes, you can print this out, put your logo on here, it's reptile report, your, your company or whatever, phone number, address and stuff. And what this does is it gives you, uh, oops, that's my address, gives you, um, you know, it, um, tells you their age, where they were located in in the system or whatever, um, you know, it's obviously type type snake species, all that. Uh, mutation is normal for this one. Um, origin is BH, BHB reptiles. If I was to sell it, it was produced by Brian Barczyk. Um The date that I acquired it, um, and uh, this is a full feeding. Yeah, you know, well, then this is old. This is old. I used this for school. I did a report on all this, but. But this is all, you know, it, you would have pages. If you had an older snake, it would be pages and pages of, of feedings. But um, for like a hatchling, if you were to sell a hatchling, then, you know, that you could show every every meal that the snake, or that the snake ate or whatever. Um, and you got some photos of the snake, you know, certain identifying markers to try and, you know, identify the snake in some way or whatever. And then, blur that out. And it also does a family tree. If you owned... You know, the family tree, this would be filled in. Um, you know, like, you know, the, you'd have the sire, dame, and then their grand sire and dame and everything. You could actually provide a family tree of, you know, the genealogy or whatever, the snake, wherever wherever it came from and stuff. But it's pretty cool. Um, I like these, actually. But that's that's my uh, record keeping. I probably babbled a lot, but, but yeah, that's it. I, I fill out the paper, the first sheet that I showed you, and then, uh, then I enter it all into the computer later, and... And, uh, like, I can show you, you know, on here, on any one of these, these are all the dates that whatever happened. So there's a date, um, and, and how I do it is if, uh, say they're eating today, I'll just write this in and cross it out, but, um, today is the 21st. So I write today in and say she got a small rat. Now, you know, and then, at, you know, if, if she eats it, I check it. I put a check mark. Yes, she ate it, because sometimes they take it but don't eat it. If she doesn't, then I just put a line through it. And then, I mean, all the rest is self-explanatory. She sheds, check. Yep, they shed. Um, the weight, which this one, this one, uh, this is just a hatchling from last year. Um, on a previous sheet, she was weighed and everything. I haven't weighed her in a, while, in a little while. I don't keep, I don't really keep track of the weight unless I see them start losing or if I'm reading them. Then I really keep track of the weight, but we can go through here. Um, uh, I mean, it's the same thing on all of them. I mean, you just figure it out. Um... I don't know, I like straight lines, scribbly lines I'm not too fond of, but, <laughs> but, alright, that's it though, I just wanted to show you my record keeping and how I keep track of everything, but, uh, thanks for watching.